Hey everyone, so the last tutorial, the surprise cupcake, the Wicked Witch of the West. So here is an image of the Wicked Witch from Oz the Great and Powerful. To make the cupcake, use black clay, push it into the mold, and then gray as the top part of the cupcake. Texture it, but then take a ball and tool and make a large hole inside the cupcake. The larger the hole, the better you can fit more goodies inside. Once you've done that, take an eye pen, attach a chain, and use some bacon bond or TLS just to make sure that it stays inside the cupcake after you bake it. And proceed to push it into the bottom of the cupcake, making sure that you do not pierce through the bottom. So then you can just drop your chain inside the center and know it will not melt during the baking process. So once you've adjusted that and you like the length of it, Put it aside and get some white clay. I'm using Sculpey Pluffy because it's really soft. Otherwise, condition your clay. Then once you've conditioned it, roll it into a thick snake or log, taper the end, and then take that end and begin to push it into your Wilton tip mold. Tip mold? Your tip! <laughs> and this is a size 18. And you'll see I'm using a ball tool and just pushing it through until the desired length. Take some black clay and flatten that, and this is going to be the brim of the hat. Make sure you don't get any white clay on it, and you will see I got white clay on it. So clean your surface before you work with another color. So then take some more black clay, try not to drop it, and then roll it into a thick log, but taper one end of the uh, clay. So you'll see it's kind of like a cone shape. Then once you get the size that you'll want, you'll, you will, I can't talk tonight, get a blade and then cut the thicker side so that you have a clean edge or a flat edge, I should say. That's going to be the bottom of your hat and you're going to affix that or place it on top of the brim that you just made previously. And you can manipulate the top if you want and add some folds, that's how it's gonna look there. So you can use some TLS or Bacon Bond and then smooth it out. Now we're going to make the feathers on the hat of the brim. The brim of the hat. Take some clay, roll it into a thin snake, taper it again. And this is going to be the more intricate way of making the feather. I would not suggest doing this on your finger for safety purposes, but my blade is slightly dull, so I can do that. Sorry that it's blurry. I'll show it again uh, later on. But this time, I'm basically using my blade and almost cutting through. I'm basically cutting through um, each of those little feather pieces. I don't even know what they're called. And then you'll see that I'm pulling it away once I cut it. Repeat this however many times you want to make the feathers on the hat. And here's an example of another feather. Again, just cut those lines and pull it away. Attach it to the hat. And here is a better example of how I made it. And you can actually see that I've pretty much cut through it and then make some little indents or cut marks. Then once you've made the cut marks, Place your blade inside those cut marks and slowly pull it opposite or kind of flick it with your wrist, as you can see. If it breaks off, you can just kind of reattach it and smooth it out, especially if the clay is soft. But this is how you make a more intricate feather. It gives it a little more fluidity and a little more movement as opposed to just little ridges or indents on the feather. Okay, and basically that is for the shoulders of the cupcake. Then take your white clay, put the chain inside the hole, and proceed to wrap that white clay however many times you want, and this acts as the whipped cream of your cupcake. So there you go. Place the hat on, and then what you'll do now at this point is bake it, or make the apples next, and then bake it. Oops, forgot. Attach an eye pin to the bottom of the hat. <laughs> This is awful. Attach it to the bottom of the hat using some TLS or Bacon Bond. Make sure it isn't too long. And then after you bake it, go ahead. This is optional. I'm using some uh, Perlex in green and then I'm just going to paint the feathers. 
and then now you bake it. <laughs> and then after you bake it, this is how it should look. Take some red clay and take some very small pieces and make about three to four apples, it's up to you. Then use some white clay. I made the mistake of translucent clay. I need to separate them, I know. Flatten out some red clay and roll that into around um, some white clay there and just smooth it out so that once you bite into it or cut into the apple, you have the white part showing as if it's been bitten. And I know in the movie the apple is green, but in this case I wanted to add some contrast, so I used red. To pretend or to simulate the teeth marks, I'm just using that small cookie cutter and proceed to cut through the apple. Obviously I didn't cut far enough, so just cut it again. And then you'll see that obviously it warps the clay, so you'll want to shape it with your fingers until it's round again. Make some leaves out of green clay. I didn't show that in tutorial based off time. Put a very small eye pin into each of those apples and use TLS. That is the size or scale, I should say. And then bake the apples, glaze everything, and begin to attach the apples to the chain using some jump rings. Oh my gosh, this is the worst voiceover ever, so sorry you guys. And this is how your Wicked Witch of the West cupcakes looks, cupcake looks at the end of the day. Pull up the hat and there are your apples. I was only able to attach three apples, but if you make them smaller or the whole larger, you can probably attach more or even attach little Swarovski crystals. I think that would be really cute as well. So that is the Wicked Witch Cupcake. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let me know what tutorials you would like to see in the future. I am thinking of maybe some Easter. Obviously I have some upcoming sewing tutorials as well. So sorry about this awful narrative. It's just been a really hectic week. I'm going to insert some pictures of the Wicked Witch of the West cupcake. I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye!